only five more days of this. And then after that, Jamaica! So, it's gonna be a good Tuesday. It's gonna be a quick Tuesday. I don't, do I not have my wallet? Uh-oh. I don't have my wallet. Hmm. Well, I think I gotta go back to my house to get my wallet. Not a great start to leaving the house, but it's gonna be a great day. Don't know what I'm gonna need to go get today, but I'm gonna probably go do something on lunch that helps me get closer to the weekend. Stuff that we still need, let's make a checklist. Suntan lotion, lots of suntan lotion. Um, maybe shirts. Um, man, I don't, I don't know. I think I need cash. I think I need, I don't know. There's too much stuff. Melissa's going shopping today. She's going back to Express where she bought a bunch of stuff for the for the trip. She found a coupon um, the day after she got it where it was like a lot off. So now she's gonna go back and get more stuff, which is cool. You know, she needs more clothes for the vacation. Next, I'm back to the house. At least I thought of it, of it before I was too far away, I guess. All right, I'll be back. Let's try this again. So this is why I am late um, sometimes. No, not really. I don't, I don't really forget stuff at the house very often. But I did leave early. Kind of good though that I realized it like right around the block. But still, I mean, it ends up adding like four or five minutes, and then you've got the like rush hour traffic, which this is the last week of school down here. And after school's out, traffic is so much better. So that's a plus. I'll be able to like leave pretty much the same time but get to work like 10 minutes earlier than normal. All right, so I'm gonna go drive now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Quick update. I'm almost to work on time. Possibly gonna be late, not positive. But I wanted to show this. They're building like a lake over there. I don't know if you can see it, but they've probably been doing this for about a month now. And they're doing it on every corner of the highway over here on this, this exit. It's very interesting. It's gonna look nice probably once it's done, but right now it just looks like a big pile of dirt. Um, hi car. Nine minutes to get to work. Gotta get through this little bit of traffic, which is easier said than done. And then I get to work. Let's see. Got five minutes to make it. I'm inside work, but this guy right here, I don't know what he is doing. So I could still end up being late, but I can see my work. And that means I'm there, right? I mean, once you once you can see it, you're, you're at work, I guess. I hope, I hope they think that. I hope that they feel the same way. It is now lunchtime, and I'm actually heading to the grocery store because my throat is hurting. Not the best thing to think of five days before we're supposed to be going to Jamaica, six days, I guess, before we got on an airplane. But, yes, my throat hurts. And it's very interesting. Look at that thing. What is that? I want to go there. It's very interesting how it seems like every single time I'm about to go on a trip, I think that I, like, fake myself into feeling sick. Because every time I'm about to go on a trip, I start to feel, like, my throat starts to get scratchy and stuff. My throat's definitely scratchy right now. And uh, my head doesn't feel that great. Good thing I've got a few days, I guess. So if it's gonna happen, I want it to happen like right now. But I'm gonna go get some airborne and hopefully at least like fight this fake sickness, I hope is all it is. See if I can get over it. I'm kind of lost right now though, which I shouldn't be lost driving around where I where work. But I went to a new public and it's closed. Well, it was an old grocery store that got knocked down because they were gonna redo it. I figured it's been enough time that it'd be open by now, and apparently it's not, and I decided to take weird roads. Good thing I have an hour lunch. This is what hour lunches are for, I guess. So you can get lost around your work. Perfect. There it is, another Publix. I go to a lot of Publixes. Boom. I seem to have an issue with ants in my truck right now, but they're not ants, they're like little bugs. Well, that's not good. I don't know what to do about that. 
I think they're coming from the tree outside. Look, they're on the, there. I think I need to stop parking under that tree. Maybe that would solve this issue that I've got. But I kind of told myself that earlier that I was gonna park under the tree and I did anyway. So I'm probably not gonna change it. I'm probably just gonna have to live with the ants, live in harmony. Oh, there's a car behind me. I'm sure they're not happy that I was slowly backing up. Where are we going? Costco, you can open the door for me so people won't mind being you're a gentleman. Why are we, um, why are we going to Costco? So we can get water shoes for Jamaica. Are you gonna open the door for me? I will. You open mine first, and I'll go around and open yours. Showed her. Which ones are you gonna get? I don't know. Let me I got these ones. They're right here. You just almost knocked the whole box over. That would have been great. Wow, those are nicer. I don't think so. You want to match? We're not gonna match. Are those the ones you're gonna get? Which ones are you gonna get? You're wearing two. Why don't you get one of each color? I'm gonna try out a guy's size. We may never leave this place. I know. She's gonna try on every single pair here. And there's a lot. Look how many of the chances she's got. See, these feel better now. Get them. I like that color. You told me you like the other color. I changed my mind. When you put that on, I'm gonna push you and see if you can stand up. What do you think? Yeah, these are better. All right, perfect. This should be entertaining. But why aren't they on sale? Look at all the sunscreen we bought, we're buying in this. You've tried on a lot of shoes today. This may be called the shoe salesman. They look per, they're small. They're small. <laughs> You're just gonna lie to me. I really was. I really was. Target's cheap. I wish I could buy shoes for this cheap. Is Target really that big that people get lost here? We just left the pet store because Melissa wants a cat. She wanted to buy an animal. I just of want course. I want a gray cat, cat, not an orange demon cat. So Tess, the injured dog, started barking at poor little Dorito, as Brian says. And, cause Dorito's such a kind, loving cat. And Dorito got scared and used me as a jumping board. I know I was just recording my mouth. I'm not good at this camera thing. Anyhow, so Dorito used me as a jumping board and I was bleeding. And I look and I'm like, I'm bleeding. And Brian's like, no you're not. And I'm like, yeah, I am. And he was really, really, really worried about Dorito. Dorito. Not about me. Didn't care about me. It didn't matter what happened to me. I'm fine. Dorito is a puffball. Dorito looks like a puffball and I was bleeding. So, needless to say, my relationship with Dorito is not wonderful. I do like Rebel though. And that's my story. I also have to say that um, I only have to work for one and a half more days. 